Welcome to another Jet Noise Huge Motors video. Here we have a V3 Talion on 4S versus right now the J2 Rattler on 3S. No EDF, but it's still hauling around the extra weight of a 6S battery and the EDF system and all that stuff. Um, later you will see it with the EDF activated on 6S and then I have another car with me, the J1 which is going to be running on 4S plus 4S. So now here with the J2, no EDF on. You can see it's a wheelie monster. It's a wheelie monster like this, folks. But um, here we go. Just did the little pre-setups. Um, my brother's GoPro is not recording low battery. My 4K camera that I brought for the second angle, um, a low battery, didn't record. So this is one of the lower quality you know production videos you're going to be seeing on this channel but hey it's still a lot of good racing a lot of fun stuff and it's documentation because again here at Jet Shoes Motors it's a lot of stuff that's like never being done before so my brother just missed a corner so he went back honored the racer's code and let me pass but already he took the inside corner he's back in the lead so I'm playing catch up in the J2 Rattler Italian still has the lead. Me and Poppin' are really there trying to catch up. His lead is gaining, spreading. And just because he has 4S, it doesn't mean, you know, his car is like, has an unfair advantage. The Rattler on 3S is a cool car. Right now, I have off-road tires in the back and on-road tires in the front because I had traction roll problems in the past. But I'm starting to realize and learn how to drive this machine where I can put arm road tires all around, um, especially on situations like this. So right there, I just call reset, reset. He had too big of a lead, so we're going to start him up again right here shortly. But yeah, I could put arm road tires all around and uh, stuff like that and, you know, have less spin out problems, less traction problems and things like that even though right now with the off-road tires in the back I still have really issues um, but that's mainly because the EDF is off right here slow motion really you can see that from both camera angles um, he dives on the inside takes the lead once again I'm holding a little bit of extra weight that extra 6s battery that's not powering anything an EDF in the back that's making me really not adding anything so the Rattler stock would do better than what it's doing right now um, the J2 has hub extenders giving it a wider footprint and uh, you know different tires than stock um, so yeah so bro let me get the lead slightly doing a wheelie on the straightaway a little wide right there powering out trying to fight for the lead position still holding on to it um, and obviously you can see he's driving um, FPV first person view and I'm not driving FPV and that makes a huge difference especially on the far away corners where it's hard to see how close you are to the thing you need to turn around so me I'm getting a little sideways right there um, managed to save it stay in the lead with the FPV, he knows exactly um, how close to get to the corners and stuff like that. Going a little wide, he was cutting it in short, and I had footage popping another wheelie. I had other footage recorded on the iPad, so the iPad stopped recording right there, popping another wheelie, passing my brother right there. Um, so we're out of iPad footage um, and yeah his GoPro wasn't recording my other 4k camera wasn't recording um, slight contact right there I spun out he uh, hit me he's kind of waiting for me right here but yeah like we got better camera views all that stuff coming very soon we have the gear to give you better racing right now he just hit the shoe on that corner that we're supposed to be going around I hit that shoe a couple times, so now he's circling back. He's letting me pass him. You know, he's like, yo, where you at? I already passed him and flew ahead, so I'm going to come 
Welcome back. Now you see me. So here we go again. I went way wide on that corner. He took the lead. He's holding on to the lead nicely. Slightly tapped the shoe, I think. Man, he's tight with them corners right there. So I think I'm somewhere semi close behind him. I think right here he might be waiting on me. Right there, he just let me have the lead. He said, go ahead. So here I am trying to hold on to the lead went super wide right there again he probably could have took the lead um, got slideways low contact let me take the lead again stop right there for a quick second good looks so dipping trying to figure out this car with um, no EDF on I normally drive it with the EDF on all the time but this is it doesn't have the EDF on and it's hauling around the 6S battery once again um, and all that stuff in a little while you'll see the uh, the Rattler with the uh, EDF engaged so there you just saw me stepping in the road picking the car up I'm about to connect the 6S battery So my bro just had one of his only mistakes right there, having contact with one of the corners, stuff like that. Or right here, excuse me, I'm about to plug in the 6S right here. And my brother's just gonna show you the low FPV perspective. Over here, you can't even see the car. From where we're standing, you can't see the car at all. But he's just dipping in his goggles, going on a little journey, showing you the power of FPV right here. back out into the street kind of running the course in reverse direction right here me I'm over there hooking up the, uh, the EDF so the J2 should have thrust pretty soon and you'll see the difference in acceleration and stuff like that um, passing by us um, but with the thrust on it's definitely faster, but with the thrust on, dropping the car back, here we go with 6S and 3S, but I spin out right here. See, so like I was saying, with the thrust, it's definitely faster, but it's more like a drift machine. So I missed that corner completely. I said, take the lead, um, but like, I know I didn't say take the lead. I came back for him. I guess I was trying to dip. It was like, where you at? So there I spun out. Right here he waiting. Woo! Dipping off right there though. You can see the acceleration. My brother's slowing down. Maybe he was trimming out his car or something like that. So yeah, like I said, we, we're gonna be doing things a little bit differently in the future. One of my, uh, my brother's only like second other mistake in this whole thing. And then shortly after that, the J2's batteries um, went dead. So now we're with the J1 Sabretooth, uh, 4S to the wheels, and 4S to the EDF. This car is a lot less drifty than the other one. It has less thrust compared to its weight. So, uh, yeah, it just doesn't push itself into a drift around the corners. Um, but it's still a bit of a monster to whip around. Um, and to get the back wheels to kick out, you got to get on the brakes. My brother took the lead. I passed him on the outside. Got two slideways. He slowed up. Let me get it back. Trying to get this. Went too wide. Trying to fight and hold on to that lead. Um, pretty soon. Oh, he went too wide. Hit the curb trying to keep up. Um, my front tires are um, so bald that they're like on-road slicks. And he has the standard off-road tires. Oh, he spun out again trying to keep up a little bit. A little slideways right there. Oh, 
move. So you can tell the J1 is moving out there. But man, it's a close battle. And, and so like I've said before in this video, I think we're going to switch it up and go to just laps. You know, we're going to say run this many laps and that's that. Whoever wins those laps, just win the laps. And then we start over again from those two laps or whatever. Because now he waits for me. I sometimes wait for him. And, you know, the videos aren't the best like that. And uh, you can't really see the maximum performance that he can give or I can give. He got the corner short, so he earned the driver's code again. Circle it around, let me take the lead. I'm in the lead trying to hold on to it. This is 50% speed right here. Because I thought this was one of the coolest moments. I get super sideways one way and then whip it back the other way right around the turn. Stay ahead of him trying to fight for the lead right here. But oh, he cuts in. He took the lead. Oh, but then he missed the corner right there. And I took the lead again. It's like, yo, car, 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 car. Slow down, slow down, slow down. And so, yeah, I'm trying to get into the, the FPV scene really quick. At the same time, this race has showed us a couple times, like, man, if we both was in the goggles, maybe our cars would have got ran over. Because I have, you know, a wider view of the traffic and everything else. And, uh, but yeah, I'm going to stop talking pretty soon, just let y'all see the, the racing. It is what it is. I thought it needed a little bit of commentary, though. Oh, little contact. One of the only contacts. We only had a few contacts in this race right here. Oh, he took the inside. So, yeah, it was good racing out there. Fun stuff, man. RC cars are mad fun, if you did not know already. He let me take the lead. So, here we go. Here we go. I'm trying to dip out on him. But yeah, stay tuned. More dope stuff coming up, people. More dope stuff. He's about to um, be running on 6S instead of 4S. Um, the J1 right here that you're saying, it could be running on 6S to the wheels and 6S to the EDF. So I'm going to be copping some new batteries soon so you can see the max potential of that. Um, my brother could change out his pinion gear for higher top speeds. I could change out pinion gears for higher top speed. Oh, barely taking him right there. Getting sideways. He takes it on the inside. And then he gets sideways. Oh, I pass him on the inside. What up, what up, bro? And then he passed me on the inside. And I pass him on the inside. Oh, what's up, bro? Yeah, it was good racing out there, man. So I wish we had better camera angles for everybody. I just missed that corner, so I let him pass. Racer's code, stuff like that. But yeah, I wish we had all our cameras working. He got a GoPro, I got a 4K camera. My iPad quit recording because I had all this other footage on the iPad. And so pretty soon, you're going to see much better um, videos and stuff like that. So stay tuned, folks. We're doing dope stuff over here. More innovative stuff coming up shortly. More racing, better views, all that stuff. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.